This Detroit team has the potential maybe to be one of the most improved teams in the National Hockey League. They're paced by a great star, Steve Eiserman. Well, they were one of the most improved teams over last season. They ended up with 76 points. Steve Eiserman's always been a star player. One added uh, thing to this particular game. He was cut by Mike Keenan in the Canada Cup situation. I'm sure Steve Eiserman will be motivated to have a great night and a great season against the Chicago Blackhawks to prove Mike Keenan wrong. One thing the Red Wings will be hoping for, big contributions from two new European defensemen. Well, that's one place where they lacked last year defensively. They didn't have much mobility. They drafted a young Sweden, Nicholas Lindstrom, Konstantinov, the Soviet player with a lot of skill. So they'll be better on the blue line, something that they needed to improve on over last season. Two unproven goaltenders, Jimmy Waite and Dominic Hasek at Belfort. 43 wins last year, not signed, not in the lineup. So the pressure obviously on those two. And the officials for this game tonight, they too looking like the old timers, except for Kerry Frazier's hairstyle. Flipped it back into the Red Wings zone. Konstantinov, the Soviet defenseman tied up in the corner, got help from Brad Marsh. And the veteran blue liner whacked it out to center right. Here comes Miller to the Hawk line, turning on the near board. Miller takes a look and shoots it. Didn't get through. Rowell in front of shot, they score! Jimmy Waite went down prematurely and could not get back up as the puck laid loose right in the slot area. And an easy backhand goal scored, I believe, by Garpenlaw for Eisbart. And the Wings lead one to nothing. One of the new faces, Eisbart picked up in a trade last year. They traded Lee Norwood for Eisbart, who had great success in the American Hockey League. The shot deflected off the leg, off Jimmy Waite, the inside of his left pad. He's looking to his left, has no idea where the puck is. Steve Conroy in his own end, passed it to himself off the board. Then he got run over by Sean Burr. And McCrimmon got knocked off the puck by Jeremy Roenick, who got it out to the far point. Chelios was knocked down there, still centered one, but nobody home for Chicago. And now the Wings with the lead. Here's a, a shot and a score! Number 91, Sergei Fedorov, the electrifying Soviet, snuck in behind the Hawk defense. Wake got a piece with his glove, but not enough. 2 nothing. Detroit. Well, the fans are relentless. It doesn't take them long. They're yelling and chanting, Eddie, Eddie, already. But uh, play kept in by Chelios, but he lost his balance, swatted to McCrimmon. McCrimmon gets it across. The quick pass and the shot by Fedorov off the glove. Ray Shepard recently acquired, played with Buffalo and the Rangers, made the pass right on the money. Fedorov right on the line, onside, and muscled a wrist shot through the glove of Jimmy Way. Racine quickly back the other way, feeding Rick Sambo on the near side. He left it for Prober, who center on a shot. Wait the save, and a good quick the reaction, a good release by Jimmy Carson. And now a penalty is going to be called as a Hawk player. Uh, Goulet was yanked to the ice in the neutral zone. Smith. And to start it away, feeds the center. Goulet tapped it over the line. Now long run right wing cuts in there for Goulet. He's in. He scores! A great pass by Steve Larmer to put the show. Goulet on the doorstep. And he got Chevalier down and out. And it's 2-1 to one now in favor of the wing. Well, all started deep in the hot zone. A good heads up play by Steve Smith. He, everyone thought he was going to go around the boards, but he put it up the middle to Goulet, overskated it. It was flipped by Gronick to Larmer. Goulet sees Larmer with the puck to a run. Goulet sprints to the ice, waits for Chevalier, waits, waits, and then just tucks it in inside. Now a scramble on the boards, Fedorov dug it out. His shot got blocked by Smith, and then Graham run, ran Fedorov over the wings, keep it in. Into the near corner it goes, Shepard centered, and a shot, shot just wide. Eiserman just missed by a few inches. Bouncing puck to Primo, Keith Primo gets the line, and Chelios took him off the puck, good play against a much bigger man, and then Chelios got knocked down, and Keith Primo will take a bad penalty here for Detroit. And now Burr came to tie Creighton up even more, then the puck jumps loose to Thomas, he cuts in, trying to shoot, and a save by Chevalier as Thomas nearly muscled one underneath him. Here's Noonan in the corner. There'll be another penalty coming up to the wing. Whistle sounds, and Chicago will have a two-man advantage for 24 seconds. Now the Hawks with a chance for one rush with a two-man advantage. Here's Chelios. He's got the line. Put it to Roenick on the near side. Dropped it to Smith. Again to Roenick in the near corner. Near point to Smith. Moves it across to a wide open. Chelios, he's centered one. Oh, too hot to handle for Roenick. Now the first Detroit penalty. Goal for the score! Right on the doorstep. The second goal of the game for Michel Goulet. A great pass from behind the net by Larmer. And it's 2-2. Two to two. Well, we hate to sound repetitive, but two goals for Goulet. And he hasn't had the puck on his stick for more than a second in the entire period. He had no time, no room. 
Great quick pass from Larmer. Larmer was about eight feet from a nice eight foot pass and a quick six foot shot by Goulet into the net. And to the head to Lemieux. But he was hit but delivered the bigger blow as Racine wound up on the deck. Here come the wings though. Garfinlaw cutting in there. He's knocked down. This will be a penalty. Give the team with a power play fit. And here's a Noonan steal. He's centered in a shot. And a save by Chevalier. Right off the bench, Michel Goulet had a chance for the natural hat trick. And a big stop made by Tim Chevalier. Keith Brown rolled it ahead three on three. Here's Tonelli over the line. Goes to his back end. Cutting it with a shot. And a save by Chevalier. Who threw it out to center now. A lead just over the stick of Gallant. Deep into the hawk zone. Gallant chasing in there after it. He took a big hit from Smith, but he got it loose. Here's a centering pass that deflects over to the far side. Graham scurries after it and shot it to center right. Eiserman takes a look in behind. Shepard is bumped off the play by Kachera. Then Eiserman got it back. He shoots one and a save by Wade. Rebound, Eiserman. Wade stopped ball, and Eiserman nearly whacked it in out of midair. Moves it to the line, Eiserman to Lindstrom, a long shot, and a blocker saved by Waite, rebound thrown out to center ice wow. by Jeremy Ronan. A couple of seasons ago, that would have been a penalty. You're not allowed to close your hand in the pocket. He got away with one there. Deep into the hog zone it goes. Brown got knocked down in the corner. Wings dig it out of there. Here's a stop shot, and a save by right. Waite. Jimmy Carson with a wraparound, and Jimmy Waite said no. Day swings it to the near board, where Probert couldn't get it out either. Now Tonelli, center went great, shooting, and a save by Sheveldey. Held into the corner by Thomas. Creighton in there, took a big hit from Probert. Great shift by Tonelli, Thomas, and Creighton here. Now Marchman keeping it in. Back into the corner it goes, and a scuffle at center ice. Probert wheels on Marchman. Marchman got the right hand loose. Probert has not dropped his gloves, and the Hawks are going to, I'm sure, be short-handed after this. But Brian Marchman showing no fear of the reigning heavyweight champion in the NHL, Bob Probert. He's the reigning heavyweight champion. Yes, he yeah, is. There's not even a contender that's close. The only contender is on the tra Red Wing team, and that's uh, Crowder, who played with New Jersey last year. Yeah. So they've got the two, probably the two top guys in, in that department in the league. Really? This guy's fearless and the toughest guy I've ever seen in the history of the game. Racine gets the line, Larmer stripped it. Back come the Hawks. Graham has the line to Larmer. The return pass, good defensive play by the Wings as Larmer's return pass. And now we're going to have a penalty coming up, I believe, against Detroit. Real uh, hockey fan. Hey, that's what happens when you have a chance to come out and see this great sport. It's the most electrifying sport in the world. Here's a shot to save by Wade Reba. Jimmy Wade! What a terrific rebound save as the Wings race. Shepard looked to have him at his mercy. He couldn't lift it, and Wade keeps the game tied. Back to center, Probert has it again. He got help from Jimmy Carson. Now Lemieux and Probert have something going, and Lemieux just got speared right in the gut. Here comes Sue Grimson to challenge Probert, and Probert and Grimson are slugging a big left by Probert, and now he and Grimson are standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and then Probert looks like he got in a big right hand. But in that sequence at center ice, Lemieux collided with Probert. They exchanged shoves, and then Probert speared him right in the gut. And I think it went undetected by the official. I don't know how it went undetected. Fraser was looking at them. First the high stick into the face, then the spear, and then Grimson came over with uh, Lemieux looking like he was in trouble. From Eisbart, now a long shot from Racine going wide. And it's held in. By Lindstrom, to Eiserman behind the net. He takes a look, has Racine coming in, gave it to him, the shot, and a save by Waite. But the puck came free to the near side, and Larmer got run over from behind by Konstantinov, and a shot goes off a stick. Put it to the far side, Zombo centered, but it's picked off by John Tonelli, clearing it ahead, Crate moved it over the line to Thomas, who's forced to turn, and Konstantinov then knocked him down. Garfinloff the other way. Over the line, a shot, and a save by Wade, and he covers before he could give a rebound, and moves it back to the line, Marchman, who shot his block, now a lead for Fedorov, he's got a break, Sergei Fedorov, a break away, and on Wade, Jimmy Wade made the save! And now the Wings with their penalty expiring at full and equal strength. There to the center, Eiserman leaves it there for Lindstrom with a long shot, Wait, a good stop, as Brown was going to get the try for the shot block, but missed it. And Waite didn't have a great look until the last second or two, but still made the save. Maluso 
Leading it ahead. Here's Creighton over the line. Or Tonelli rather shooting. And a save by Shemelday. Rebound centered by Tonelli, but it's picked off. Improve his stamina. And Manasek Kachera flipped it back into the Red Wing zone. Taken by Lindstrom. Passed it around the boards. McCrimmon got a big hit from Lemieux in the corner who took it away. He got it in front to Tonelli. A shot and he shot it up off the glass. Now Marchman kept it in. Now a steal by the wings. Lindstrom, Nicholas Lindstrom. Rolls it back into Chicago territory to the stick of Marchman. 22-year-old Brian Marchman cleared it not out. Here's McCrimmon trying to center. Quick shot, they score! What a shot by Jimmy Carson, a one-timer. As the Hawks failed to clear it, McCrimmon found Carson alone and bang. It's 3-2 Detroit. Bob Probert's presence created that scoring chance. Peluso had a chance to play it around the boards, knew that Probert was coming. He took a look, took his eye off the puck, the brace for the hit. The puck was kept in by McCrimmon. He faked it, slid it over to Carson, and Carson, with the puck well in front of him, somehow was able to swat at it and put it past Jimmy Wade. And Jimmy Carson capitalized now right from the draw. Here's Prober taking a big swing at the Hawk player that goes down in the Turtles, too. Grimson trying to take a hit for the team, and he did. Prober, I looked like he might have landed a big right, and Grimson never took his gloves off, and Prober now costing the Red Wing after making a... Good uh, play to help set up the lead goal. He now heads to the box and the Hawks to the power play and Grimson has a big weld on his face already. 3-2 wings. Bob Probert, 315 minutes in penalties last year in 55 games. Goes to the locker room. He drills to Grimson. Grimson went in the turtle, but Probert was just hammering away. Grimson still without the gloves. Or stick down, and, uh, and then Probert tried to gouge his eyes out after with the left, with the fingers, as uh, Grimson was turned away from him. Well, 139, 2, 5, and 10 for Probert. Brown had not reached center when he dumped it in, but Chevalier plays it, so the play stays alive. Brad Marsh and Creighton battle in the corner. Now the puck came loose to the line. Brown moves it up the board to Graham, takes a look. There's a shot, tipped right on, rebound, he scores! Adam Creighton picked up the rebound! And on the power play, the Hawks have tied the game at three. Brown at the point, faked the shot, slipped it into Graham. Graham waited, waited, defenseman moved in, tried to feed it across to Kuchera, was swatted at by Chevelday. Creighton gets the rebound and pops it in with Chevelday on the seat of his pants. Groening, got it over the line to Thomas, fire! And a save by Chevelday, the rebound to Goulet for Thomas! Oh, Chevelday, a great poke check. Steve Thomas steps over the line, got around Rossini, cuts in, moves in, he shoots! Oh, it hit a man on the goal crease, and now no goal. The puck wound up in the net. Gary Frazier said it was batted in with a glove. And what a bad break for Steve Thomas, who fired the puck past the fallen goaltender, Chevalier, only to have it hit a couple of players who had been wrestling and wound up in the net. By the way, the uh, much ballyhooed debut of instant replay in the National Hockey League will be delayed, at least uh, in this building. Uh, there been, there's been some equipment that has not arrived or something, that, and there is no instant replay situation in this particular game. Well, these new magnetic boards are working well. <laughs> and a big collision again. Konstantinov really got hammered along the boards. I, uh, and why did Kerry Frazier blow the whistle? The buck wasn't frozen and still in play, and he blew the whistle. Konstantinov not familiar with this style of play. I would imagine a small rink used to the bigger ice surfaces in international hockey and, and not a lot of board work. Problem on their last shift. Now it's Creighton, Lemieux, and Peluso on for Chicago. Here come the Wings. Here's a lead. Another breakaway for the Wings. Wait a minute. You're not going to score there. Jimmy Wade stopped Eisbart, who was in all alone. Now an offside play at the other end. Jimmy Wade, a spectacular debut for the 91 
92 campaign. And here, here are all the people that were chanting Eddie, Eddie in the first four minutes of the game. How quickly they forget. Head to overtime. We've got five more minutes or less to play as regulation time comes to an end. So far, here comes Thomas though. His shot is blocked, picked up by Ronick. And Thomas, he blasted it off the side of the net. Ronick in deep, battles back of the goal with Zombo. Now Larmer centered it, came free in front. Big save by Chevalier. Rebound, Chevalier! He stopped Ronick, and then maybe even a better save on Thomas. And Chevalier, spectacular here in the first seconds of OT. Hopping around, winds up back in the Red Wings zone. Lemieux hustles, gets there, turns behind, centered it to the line of shot. And a save, rebound! Tim Chevalier now becomes the story in overtime. Shepard cleared it to center ice, and that's going to do it. Better off a long shot goes wide at the buzzer. And this game finishes in a 3-3 tie. The Blackhawks in overtime had maybe their best sequence of chances in the game. The Hawks, with seven shots in overtime, finished with a total of 24. The Red Wings had just one shot in OT. Their final total is 28. And the Red Wings uh, certainly glad to get a point on the road, but certainly must be feeling as if they deserved a better fate.